Archaeologists believe the city of dreams is buried beneath the ruins of Machu Picchu in South America. Ask an anthropologist, and he'll tell you the city of dreams is somewhere in the Australian outback. Its precise location encoded in the low moans of the didgeridoo, waiting for someone to decipher it. Some say it's in Arkham, Massachusetts. Or hidden in the secret network of tunnels under Moscow, whose existence is denied to this day. But I'm here to tell you the truth. You want to know where the city of dreams is? Look around. Hello, this is Brian Smith, executive producer for SciFi.com Seeing Ear Theater. By now, probably most of you have heard about the tragic incidents last week in Manassee County, New Jersey. We at the Sci-Fi Channel have always taken an active interest in helping serve the community. To that end, and with the consent of writer and fellow executive producer J. Michael Straczynski, we are foregoing tonight's regular broadcast of The City of Dreams. The tape you are about to hear was found and turned over to the Manassee County Sheriff's Office two nights ago. Because of the difficulty in getting TV or radio stations to air nearly 30 minutes of audio tape, they have asked us to run it here in hopes that someone out there might be able to identify any of the voices that appear on the tape. Anyone with any information is asked to contact the Manassee County Sheriff's Department or leave word here via email. Thank you. Check. Check. Okay, Tuesday, July 18th, 2000, 9 a.m. Beginning private investigation per Jacobson contract. I hope you don't mind if I record this. No, it, it's fine, I guess. It just makes it easier to keep track of things, you know? Um, okay, here you go. Waffles are for oh, me. All right, let me know if you need more coffee. Oh, we will. Thank you. Oh, can I have the... Uh... Oh, sure. Here. Thanks. Now, you were talking about your husband. Oh, yes. Um, I've applied for a restraining order to keep him away. And it's mainly for the children, you know. Uh -huh. and they, they don't understand why Daddy's so angry all the time. And, you know, neither do I, really. But there's a certain point where his problems aren't my problems anymore, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, now, has the divorce gone through yet? Mm -hmm. Soon. The lawyers, you know, they just... Yes, do. I do. They take forever. <laughs> So I need you to document whatever you can for me. I, when I go in to get the restraining order against him, I, I, I want all my ducks. So we can't drag out the process, right? Exactly. Now, can you tell me a little bit more about your situation? You said you were um, living in... Oh, Clarefield. Right. Yeah, it's just inside Manassee County. Mm -hmm. That's uh, C-L-A-R-E. No, that's okay. Uh, you don't have to spell it out. I, I know the area. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just trying to help. No, I understand. That's okay. Yeah. Just keep going. No, I've never been interviewed on tape before. <laughs> Makes me a little bit nervous. That's okay. Anyway, um, it's a religious community. Um, there's there's about 20, 23 of us there now. Now, you mean a commune or? No, no, a, a community. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's none of the, uh, well, I mean, most of us are couples, you know, but there's nothing going on there between the couples or anything. It's not a know. sex thing. Oh, <laughs> oh you, you do get right to the point, don't you? Well, what I get paid for. Okay, go on. Yeah, it's, uh... Excuse me, miss? Uh, could I have a warm-up on this? Not sure. Here you go. Okay, sorry. You were saying? Hmm. Um, well, it, it's a peaceful community. Um, based on mutual cooperation and understanding, you know, and everybody has their role. Some cook, some sew, uh, others work around the house, or um, some keep jobs done in Clearfield to help support the rest. Mm -hmm. It's it's all about meditation and discipline, you know. And, um, well, my husband, 
he didn't take to the idea as well as he thought he might. Um, still, he, he stuck it out for a while. Through the birth of the children, you know, in the next five years. He well, was, sounds pretty dedicated to me. Yes, yes, he was. But um, he just began to get a little odd, I guess. I mean, he started acting paranoid and losing his temper all the time, which, I mean, I, I can handle it. You know, I've had worse, but the other couples and, and the children, you know, they, they didn't understand. And then one day, he just took off. And he wanted you to go with him. Yes. But, you know, he isn't my life anymore. This is my life. My children are my life. He's not a well man. I put um, his medical record in there with the rest of the papers for you. Uh, he had some counseling before he walked out. You know, I'm afraid that he'll do something to hurt the children. Or me. Once the divorce goes through. Oh, okay. All right. Um, look, I, I think this is pretty much everything I need for now. Oh. So what do you do from here? Paperwork, uh, talk to some people, and um, talk to your husband. Oh. oh. Are you sure that that's a good idea? Oh, yeah, it is. I've seen other situations where people back off once they know a PI's been engaged. And you can save yourself a lot of time and money that can... Uh, Oh, just a second. Subject interview, 12.17 p.m. Approaching front door. I got nothing to say to you. I want you gone, pal. This is private property, and, and, and it's, a, it's a nice place. It's a good little garage workshop you got going here. And I hear you got a new job. You're working construction, right? Yeah, yeah. Look, I don't have uh, anything right. to say to okay. you. Okay, just let me get right to the point. Now, I can either be a pain in the ass, or I can help you work things out here, like grown men without dragging the courts into this. You got a new job, man. You've got a lot to protect. There's nothing to work out. Look, your wife's afraid of you. Your kids are afraid of you. Sounds to me like you got to leave two things we can work out, right? Your kids are afraid of me? There's a joke for you. That they're not even my kids. What do you mean? Let me ask you a question. Who do you work for? The community or, or do you work for her? I was retained by your wife. So you got no vested interest in that place? Man, I am just doing a job here. And then let me tell you something. If I were you, I would quit while I was ahead. You don't know what the hell you're getting into. All I know is what your wife told me, that you've been threatening her and the kids. I told you they're not my kids. It's it's that damn Jeremiah, the guy running, Claire, for that. They're his kids, all of them, not just hers, all the women they got up there. But he is, he, he's just a part of it all. I mean, he's just a conduit. He's, he's... Whoa, a conduit for what? Look, look, hey... I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. I mean, nothing I can say now is going to make a damn bit of difference anyway. All right. When I said that your, when I said that children were frightened of you, you said it was funny. No, no. I said it was a joke. Not that it was funny, because there's not a day that goes by that, that I am not afraid of them or what they're going to become. Afraid enough to try and hurt them? You are a damn fool. You know that? You don't know what you've got a hold of. Hey, if you're not careful, it might end up getting you killed. Is that a threat? Hey, you can take it any way you want. I mean, you wouldn't believe me anyway. Now, why don't you just get going before I call the cops? All right, then it looks like we'll end up doing this the hard way. Yeah, looks like. Oh, one more thing I'm curious about. What? You always wear a gun when you're working? It's my ranch, it's registered, and it's legal. And it's my right. I mean, if you had seen what I'd seen, you'd carry one yourself. Well, as a matter of fact, I do. The difference is I can carry mine outside, and you can't. So I suggest you don't try it. Hey, take a hike, buddy. Hey, stay away from your wife and stay away from the kids. Any more threats, any more problems, and there won't be repercussions. 